And um, I do want to uh, have Peter Watson from LMH in Oxford uh, say a couple words about Melinda. Come on up, Peter. Uh, you know, Melinda, when she graduated uh, in French uh, from the London School, went to Oxford, and uh, if you see the French books that she poured through uh, uh, in French, and, you know, you could listen on the tape there, uh, her interview with Bernard Kushner, who's now the French Foreign Minister, it, you know, if we went out to dinner with uh, a French uh, person or couple or counselor, we it was five hours, you know. They wished they had read the French. And Melinda had read the French, and so that was it. And uh, uh, her, her love of LMH in Oxford was just unparalleled. Here, Peter. Well, Joe, thanks. It's a great pleasure and privilege to be here among, with you, Joe, amongst friends and admirers of, of Melinda. I'm really pleased that I'm able to be here. Uh, I'm a fellow of Melinda's College, Lady Margaret Hall, or just LMH as it's known to everybody. And I was actually a contemporary of Melinda at Oxford. Uh, and sadly, I never met her then. Um, but I did meet her about eight years ago when I returned to Oxford to work for LMH as their Director of Alumni Relations and Development. And um, I first actually physically met Melinda here in New York at, at the apartment when she was hosting a reception for all the alumni that we have here in, uh, in New York City and around, uh, which she habitually did uh, in a way that was different to what the other colleges do. It was <laughs> Melinda's apartment. Uh, it wasn't just sort of drinks and kind of stuffy things at the Harvard Club, if I, I don't want to offend anybody. <laughs> but that's what all sort of colleges, my colleagues in other colleges have probably been doing this weekend, as a lot of us here from Oxford. But, but not, it was something different and special. The warmth of the, of the family welcome in the apartment was something that people wanted to come to because it's something much more special. And I, I just remember that first occasion that I met you and Melinda here, and it, it's always stayed with me and with our, with our other colleagues from Oxford. Mm -hmm. um, actually, I remember, the, I think it was the first or second occasion I was there, I was being a bit kind of organized and had a kind of PowerPoint presentation to project somewhere in your, in your apartment. And I failed totally to do it. But uh, young Robert came and sold <laughs> technology. The engineer. He got me out of a lot of trouble. And, uh, he worked really hard. I'm very grateful to you this day, Robert. <laughs> um, Melinda was full of ideas, as you, as you know. But she was full of ideas for helping LMH. And I was often on the phone to her. And she was very determined to sort of push ideas to me. That, accommodate perhaps all of them, but, but many of them I did and was pleased to do so. And, um, and, she, and we did a lot of things that Melinda suggested that delighted our alumni and they were very pleased with. Um, one of the things I remember most fondly was when she uh, brought across and mounted a special uh, edition of the Luminous Bodies exhibition at the Jerwood Gallery in LMH. And that, was a, that was a really special occasion um, uh, with uh, presentations by Francis Lannan and uh, Robin Hammond, who's, who's the uh, curator of Blake and Turner at, uh, the, at the Tate Gallery. Um, and uh, what do you use the word about courageous when you were speaking about Carmen? And I just, if I have one little thing I can quote, um, that uh, Robin Hammond said that her work, he was comparing Melinda's work with, with that of Blake. Her work, like Blake's, exemplified the fearlessness that is part of the essence of great art. And she was. She was fearless in, in, in pushing the boundaries. So uh, Lady Margaret Hall, although we're a very small college, has uh, spawned, I'm delighted to say, a whole range of people through the, its 120 years of history who have been very talented in the arts and writers. If I just note one or two of them, there's Marina Warner, the artist and critic, Fiona McCarthy, the biographer of Byron, and, and many others, Carol Churchill, a uh, noted playwright, Antonio Fraser, the historian, and more recently, and just down the road from here, I was chatting to her earlier today, Amanda Foreman, uh, whose Georgiana, Duchess of Devonshire, now a film, was actually her PhD thesis at LMH, when she was here. So, um, so Melinda is part of this, of this rich tradition of artists that we have at LMH. Um, so what I simply want to say is she brought great distinction to the college, um, we're very proud of her, 
uh, both on the college and personally. Um, but the, the energy and all the joy, really, as I remember, with which she, which she supported us. Thank you.